Hey guys, we've just had a call from a member of the public who has found a bird that's fallen down a pipe. So we're gonna go over there and see if we can see what sort of bird it is. Um, we've got some equipment, um, really basic equipment that should hopefully be able to reach down the pipe and, and rescue the bird. Um, failing that, I've got a snake catching kit and I can use the tongs to hopefully try and gently you know, pull the bird out of the pipe as well. So we'll see what we can do. See if we can get some footage of him. Oh, you did a great job, guys. Thank you, guys. I'm shaking your hand. I got pigeon bottom. <laughs> Good on you guys, thank you. Um, I'll text you and let you know how we get some. Yeah, no, we will. Thank you. See you guys. Bye bye. So here's our little dove. So at the end of the day, all we needed was our $2 butterfly net. But the real hero here is the member of the public and her son who found the dove in the first place. Now, her son was just playing down here at the park, happened to look down the pipe and saw this poor little dove that was trapped in there, flapping its wings trying to get out. And had they not found this little dove, you know, this poor animal would have died of heat stroke, dehydration and, and suffered a pretty horrible death. So they're the real heroes here. And that just goes to show that you don't have to be a wildlife rescuer, you don't even have to be an adult to support wildlife. If you do see wildlife in distress, call somewhere like Native Ark, we can come out and rescue the animal, and by doing that, you're helping wild lives live. Good on you guys. Go sneeze. <coughs> that can be your flip. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>